Ayo, rookies, and Andy Lupita back with a BikuBot video, and today we're looking at channel points and basically making changes inside of OBS to make your stream a little bit more interactive. So I'm going to show you a couple of different methods inside of BikuBot. I just want a big shout that I'm not affiliated with BikuBot or anything like that. I'm not sponsored by them. It's just my honest opinion. This is the bot to watch for 2021. Okay, there's so many things that Bikuza is adding to this, and to be honest, it is so user friendly. So just keep an eye out and keep watching these videos. Speaking of these videos, I have actually got some keys to give away so you can get early access to the alpha without actually having to join the patreon or anything like that uh, i mean it's only a, a cheap cost anyway and it'll help support the development of the actual bot itself so definitely go and check it out but i will be giving away some free keys for every biku bot video for the next couple uh, i've got three at the moment but i'm sure if i Speak a little bit to Bikuti, might give me some more, but all you gotta do to enter is make sure you are subscribed and liked the video, all that jazz. But write down in the comments below what you'd like to see added to BikuBot. What would make it the best bot for you? Well, it's not a bot, it's a stream companion, really. So what would make it the best bot for you? Just tell me what we could add or what Bikuti could add to make it perfect, okay? That's it. And then you entered. Right, I will be drawing it on the 1st of Feb and sending out the key as well. So stay tuned for that. Put your rock over the stone. Let's go. Right, so I'm just going to show you the BQBot website, well, the uh, the Patreon, where you can get your hands on it. The link will be in the description down below. It's only £5 a month for the early alpha access. I mean, if you did £3 when the beta does start, uh, it can be it can be that. But I'd, I'd even recommend just trying it for a month, because you can always cancel the Patreon afterwards. But honestly, this bot is something cool, and definitely look out for it. So let's create a channel point, shall we? So I'm going to go to Twitch and go all the way up to my logo in the top right. Go to the creator dashboard and then once in here you can go to community and then click on channel points which is on the left hand side there press manage rewards and challenges and as you can see you'll get a list of all your channel points just here i'm going to add a new custom reward i'm going to give the reward a name i'm just going to call it test one for now and uh, in the description this is a test just like that. Uh, the cost amount, I'm just going to put it on as one because it's just a test. But it's obviously up to you what you want to do. Uh, I'm not going to use any text or anything like that. I'm just going to press create. So now I've got a channel point. If I jump into OBS, you can see I've, I've set my OBS up here. I've got my webcam and I've also got this got to go fast thing because you got to go fast, right? Uh, and that's what we're going to use the channel point to activate. So if I check my channel points or troll points just here, you can see I've got my new one test there. If I redeem that... Nothing's going to happen because we've not told it to do anything, even though it says it's redeemed and everything like that. Let's open up BikuBot and have a little play, shall we? So inside BikuBot, um, I'm, I've got everything connected and, and set up. If you guys want me to sh do a setup tutorial, I mean, it's pretty straightforward because Bikuta's done a very good job of making this literally just so user-friendly. It's super simple to do, but if you do want me to, to do that, let me know in the comments below. But we're going to go to points because we want to play about with our channel points. And as you can see, it pulls up the full list of all my available channel points just here. We created test one, as you can see there, so I can uh, click on that, and we can start editing stuff. So, as you can see, I was playing around with it already, so I'm just going to delete what was in there. So, the redemption for channel point test one. What do we want it to do? I want it to turn on this for five seconds, and then turn it off again. So, I don't have to set up any hotkeys or anything like that. So, I'm going to go to BikuBot, and just press OBS, just there, because we want to control OBS. And on this section, we get to choose what we want to do. Source visibility, scene change, or filter visibility. And th these are the only things in there at the moment. He is adding a ton more, so definitely check out the the, uh, the Trello that's going to be the roadmap of what's going uh, what's going to be added to the bot. But this is all you really need to create an interactive stream. It's mainly all I use, so I'm going to use source visibility. The scene that we're on, it brings up a drop down. We've only got one scene there because we've only got scene two just here. So really confusing. I don't know why I called it scene two. Like I don't know why it ever happened to scene one. And now we're going to select the source. So the source that I want to turn on and off is got to go fast. And now I get a choice now. Do I want to toggle it on or off? So I want it to go on, then off. So rather than doing like two commands, having one turn it on, one then to wait, and then another one to say turn it off, I can actually press this mode button just here. Press mode and toggle and go back is basically what's going to happen. So if I press that, another little section pops up in this button here. It says toggle back after 
seconds. So I'm going to say five seconds, and that is it. So right now, if I press save and go down to my channel point redeemable and press test one, you'll see redeem. And there we go. Turns on for five seconds and then automatically turns off. Look, man, no hands. It just does it automatically. So your stream starts becoming a little bit more interactive. And that can be activated with other things as well. I'm only showing channel points right now. But let's add, say, a filter as well, shall we? So I'm going to go on my webcam and go to filters. I'm going to add an effect filter. So let's do a uh, time warp, for instance. So if you've not seen the time warp uh, thing, as you can see that from the demonstration just here, you can make yourself look super, super gorgeous like that. And you can ch check my video out just up there and it'll show you all about this plugin. So I want that to turn on the scan duration. I'm going to say five seconds. So it go happens quite quick. I'm going to turn it off for now. And basically when the channel point uh, turns on, I want this filter to turn on and it activates this so users can activate that command anytime they like. So I'm going to turn it off for now and my webcam goes back to normal. I can mess about with all the settings if I wanted to but I'm not going to for this example. Go back into BQBot and I'm going to delete this previous command just here like so and going to add another OBS. But this time we're going to change it to a filter visibility because we want to turn that filter that we've just created on. So the source that we're going to select is the webcam. The filter is time warp span uh, scan. So something really cool about BQBot as well is, as you can see, I have got more than one source, but because that's the only source that's got a filter on, it doesn't show any other sources, which I think is so useful. So you're not searching for the for things like forever, and you're like, oh, that, that's not even got a source on it or a filter or anything like that. It literally just brings up the information that you want. It's so useful. So similar again, we can do toggle um, to on or off, or toggle and then turn it off again. So I'm going to do that. But I set it up, if you remember, for five seconds. So I, I could make it last five seconds long, but as soon as it's done the time warp scan, it's going to disappear. So I'm going to say 10 seconds, because then it'll hold that freeze frame for five more seconds. Press save. Go back out of there. Go back to my channel point and press test one. And you'll see now the time warp scan starts. Oh, my days. What's wrong with me? And then because we said 10 seconds, it's going to wait another five seconds now. And then it'll unpause just like so. And that's how easy it is to create an interactive stream. You can activate your filters. You can activate uh, different sources as well. Or even scene changes. So you could get somebody to turn you into, I don't know, a cowboy or something. You know what I mean? Like, you guys know what I'm talking about. But that is pretty much all there is to it to create a channel point redeemable like that. It's so much easier than any other program that I've used. Leon on board, Touch Portal, uh, Trigger Fire. There's, there's so many different ones out there. And this by far is the easiest. So I really would recommend just giving it a go, okay? And like I say, if you do want to try and win a alpha key, all you got to do is comment down below just what feature you'd like to see in this bot what would make it the perfect bot for you just let us know and then if it's not already on the trello we will throw it on there and we'll get you sorted hopefully maybe i don't know i'm speaking on big Uta's half there <laughs> but yeah he's a pretty cool guy and hopefully he will do it so put your rock over the stone i'll see you in the next one I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full-time, make it free for you guys, and also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.